Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful choker. If you don't want to make a choker, you definitely could turn this into a bracelet and you could also make nice earrings when I show you how I'm making this first element. Please stay with me until I make the first element at least, because then I will tell you a useful beading trick that deserves attention. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell and you could also like, share and comment this video and in this way you help me so much and you give me more energy to make more and more similar free tutorials. Definitely check the membership option in description because, because now if you become a member you will get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. Thank you so much for watching. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, and what we need for this tutorial are two colors of 11 o seed beads, white and black. I'm also using chains here, but if you decide to make a bracelet instead of choker, you could skip this and use only clasp. Here is a Nymo nylon thread that is size D, which is 0.3 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and the pliers I used to attach my clasp and my chain to my work. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and at my first step, what I want to take on my needle are 6 white and 6 black beads, 12 in total, and I'm alternating them. And now what I want to do is slide all of those down. Okay, I put my needle here in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot. And I make my knot just like this by going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I want to make just one more knot and I have these guys okay then in my next step what I want to do is go here reaching the next black one after the knot okay and what I'm going to pick up are eight black beads and I skip the white that's on my way and I go through the following black. So from black to black, eight beads. Then what I want to do is the same thing. Okay, eight beads. Skip the white one and go through the following black. Okay, eight again, skip the white and go through the following black one. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and I have my 8 here, and I go in this black one. Go through 2 beads in this direction, just like this, go through 2, and pull. Take just one white bead, and go from the outside to the center, through the second beat, you see, and pull, then again one, go through the second one counting from the center, the second of this eight that I added in my previous step, by adding one white bead and I'm going from the center to the outside, then I'm going to take just one white and I will go from the outside to the center again through the second black one counting from the center of my work. 
then it comes the white with which I go from the outside to the center through the second black and it comes the white that I used to go from the center to the outside okay guys I think you got the idea just repeat these steps from here and meet me at this side okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row and now what I want to do in the next row is go to these two black beads then I'm going to take one black and go through the following two and I need here two white beads and I go again through these two black beads and by the way I wanted to tell you that now if you check the membership option uh, with link in description you will see that if you become a member for less than five dollars per month in this channel you will get the course five unexpected designs that you could do with peyote stitch and uh, you will get other perks that you will see if you watch the video down there and you also can start and cancel anytime in this way you support me and my mission to create be the jewelries thank to all of the supporters of the channel until now okay let's continue here i need one black and i go through these two black beads then i take two white beads and I go through the following two blacks one go here two and go through two one and go here two And I will continue these guys until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I am here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Then I want to go here through the top. In this row, guys, I'm going to be adding three beads everywhere. Okay, from the top and I'm going through these two white beads like this. Three white beads and I'm going here through the top. Three again. Go through these two whites and pull a little bit. And three. And this is what I'm going to be doing until the end of this row and I'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and i pull tight then what i want to do is go through these three white beads in this direction and here i want to take just one black bead and i skip these two here i don't go through them and then i go through the following three that i added in my previous row and I pull here I want to take three white beads and I'm going through these three white beads in this direction and what I want to do is some fixing and pulling to make them stay here in the center now what I want to take is one black bead I'm not going through these two beads, but I'm going through the following three that I added in my previous row. And what I do here, guys, is that I pull tight like this. I need three. Go through these three and pull. Take another black. And go like this 
tree. And go through three and one tree one tree and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads of this row and I'm going here just like that fixing a little bit and as I promised in the beginning now I want to tell you a trick and this is when you use nylon thread, let's say Nymo or other brand, you should pre-stretch it first. In this way you won't get tangles and uh, you won't uh, struggle with it all the time. And uh, if you use monofilament, don't stretch it ever because it gets curly and it gets a lot of tangles. And this is my advice for the two types of threads. And if you want to know more about threads, I have a special tutorial that you will see down there in the description. Now guys, I want to make the same element like this one. And I'll be back to show you how I'm starting my choker or... Uh, if you want to make a bracelet, the bracelet. Okay guys, now I have two similar elements and I haven't cut my thread of both of those. And now I'm going to show you how to connect them and how to make a loop of beads where you will attach your chain or your clasp. Okay, so now I will take my first element and what I want to do is exit here through the white that is after the black one. And here what I want to take are five black beads. Okay, I have my five. And I want to go in the same place here. Okay, through this white one. Now I will make a reinforcement. Okay, and I reinforce this. Now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I make it, I make here a loop. And I go once. Then I go second time through this loop I've made. Then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull. Then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. And I have the beginning of my bracelet ready and now I want to take my next element and I want to connect it to this one like this. And in order to do this, I want to exit out of this bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, and here I am. So what I want to take next, guys, is a black bead. And as I'm exiting through the one that's sticking out the most from the second element, I'm going through the same bead from the first element. Okay, then I want to take one black again and I go here in the same place backwards, just like this. You see? I have something like a loop and the two beads between them. Okay, then I go back one more time reinforcing this joint here. Mm -hmm. 
now I want to reach this angle here. Okay, and I want to connect it to this one. Okay guys, and since I reinforced this joint several times, now I will come here, make a knot and cut my thread. Then I will make one more element like this one. I won't cut my thread, I will connect it to this one and then I will make a knot and cut my thread. And I will continue this process until I have seven flowers. You could do it with more or less flowers, depending if you're making a bracelet or you're making a choker and how long you would like it to be. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. One by one, I added five more elements like this and now I have seven elements in total. As I told you, you could do less or more, it's up to you. And now I'm here where I just attached my last element and I reinforced it. And now what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit here at this side to make the loop of beads where I will attach my jump ring and my chain. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. And now guys, I went through all of those beads and I'm exiting one white a bit away from the black one here. And I want to take five black beads and as I did in my previous element, the first one that I was starting my bracelet from, I will go back through this white that is just before the black one. And then what I want to do is reinforce this joint here. Okay, and as I'm here, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making it the same way. Okay, I'll go to the back of my work. Make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made. Pull. Go in the next few beads if you want, repeat this process and then cut your thread. And now guys, I'm going to show you how to attach your chains here. Okay, I have this chain like this and if you want, you could attach only the clasp and the chain and make a bracelet, but now I will attach the whole chain and make a choker, as I said. And in this way you could turn any bracelet into a choker. Okay, with this type of chain or with a beaded chain. Okay, attaching here the jump ring and closing it in the same direction as I opened it. Okay, and I will repeat this from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I attached these chains from both sides and I have the choker that 
I wanted to do in the beginning. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and also like, share and comment. And in this way you help me so much. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my membership where you could see five unexpected designs that you could do with Peyota Stitch course and other perks. So definitely check this out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye bye from me.